thrilled to welcome the family and friends of the graduates of Brookdale Community College's 2017 commencement celebration. At this time, I'd like everyone to silence his or her cell phones, but do not turn them off. I want you to take pictures, lots and lots of pictures, and spread them around social media with hashtag BDale2017. I want to see them on Twitter, I want to see them on Instagram, I want to see them on Snapchat, and for the parents and grandparents, I want to see them on Facebook. <laughs> so thank you. Now please rise and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance and remain standing for the national anthem. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. This year, 2,162 students are earning degrees from Brookdale Community College. <laughs> That's more than 134. It's 134 more students than last year, and 19 of you are graduating with two degrees. This graduating class also has students re representing 21 different countries from around the world. Today's graduating class includes 219 distinguished scholars, and 31 graduates who earned a perfect 4.0 GPA. Our athletics program had another awesome year. 10 out of our 12 teams went to regional tournaments and six teams advanced to the national tournaments. Men's baseball is also likely to advance to the nationals. I know, it's good. And we're really hoping to add a few more national championship banners to our already impressive collection here. Our head baseball coach and Brookdale alum Johnny Johnson surpassed his 600th career win this season with the men's team. We had a crowd, a great crowd, at the annual Athletic Hall of Fame induction ceremony this year where we inducted Jim Palumbo, Kevin Hader, and Rich Karpinski, the 2005 women's softball team, and a host of players from tennis, basketball, and softball. Just love those Jersey Blues. We're joined with a lot of people here on the platform. With the following freeholders, please stand and be recognized. Freeholder director, Lillian Burry. Honorable John Curley. and the Honorable Thomas Arnone. 
We're grateful for their support. Would the following trustees and special guests please stand and be recognized? Dr. Carl Guzzo, Chair, Board of Trustees. <laughs> Brett Kaufman, Member, Board of Trustees. <laughs> Paul Krupe, Vice Chair, Board of Trustees. <laughs> Daniel Beck, Member, Board of Trustees. <laughs> Latanya Brennan, Member, Board of Trustees. Donna Rogalski, New Jersey Council of County Colleges. Dr. Bill Toms, President of the Brookdale Community College Foundation. Lauren Watson, President of the Alumni Association. Dr. Deborah Josco, 2017 Distinguished Alumna. Professor Kathy Good, Grand Marshal. <laughs> Professor Tom Sotero, Grand Marshal. And Mr. William DeVoe, 2016-2017 Governance Chair. We'd also like to recognize a very special guest who has honored us with her presence today in the audience, our special guest, Lieutenant Governor Kim Guadano. And would all of the college officers, executive staff, institute deans, please stand and be recognized. Well, members of the graduating class of 2017, congratulations. It I know it's been a journey. And I know that many of you have worked very hard and struggled, and here you are. You've made it to the finish line. And you have all of your family and friends here to thank, but there's another group of people that I think you especially need to thank. Would the faculty please stand and turn and face your students? <laughs> students, thank your faculty. Thank you so much. Again, 2017 graduates, welcome to these commencement ceremonies. We're so pleased to have you here. And to the family and friends of all of these graduates, thank you for the support for our students during their studies. It takes all of us working together to build this educated society. And I'm grateful for all of us. I'd now like to turn the podium over to Dr. Guzzo, chair of the Brookdale Board of Trustees, for his welcome. I would like to welcome the graduating class of 2017. Please stand up and give yourselves a round of applause. From all the members of the board, we are very proud of your accomplishments. You represent the best of Brookdale. Thank you for everything you've done. We'd also like to thank the professors and staff at Brookdale who are the best. Thank you very much for all of your work and efforts. Thank you all. Will Teresa Burns come to the stage and give greetings on behalf of the class of 2017? Teresa is from Holmdale, New Jersey, and she began her studies at Brookdale back in 2006, taking classes through 2009. She returned in 2014, and today is receiving an Associate of Arts in Elementary Education. While a student at Brookdale, she was able to balance work, family, and school, maintaining a 4.0 GPA. Teresa has also been an active member of Phi Theta Kappa, our National Honor Society, during her time at Brookdale. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> 
Good morning, and welcome to the 47th commencement at Brookdale Community College. I would like to welcome the Board of Trustees, Dr. Murphy, administrators, faculty, staff, families, friends, and fellow graduates. As we gather today, every one of you has participated in making this journey possible for all of us. People often think college students are ages 18 to 25, but nothing could be farther from the truth. I want to share a story with you about a woman who at some point in her life, when everything should have been running smoothly, was on the verge of spiraling downward. Needing to become more independent, she found help through Brookdale's Displaced Homemakers Program, where Robin Vogel and Eve Holliday, with their encouraging words and constant support, helped this woman to build her self-esteem and return to school. They held out their hand and pulled her up. She came to Brookdale never imagining that in her 40s, she would be starting college. She walked through the doors of Brookdale in the fall of 2007 and was a rough start, only to complete up to spring of 2008. Life happens, and returning in 2014, she jumped back in with both feet for the winter se session of 2014 with an online course in psychology. She knew it would be challenging, but she was ready and back to a strong start. <coughs> that story may resonate with many of you today, but this is my story. Thank you. When I started my journey, my children were just seven and 16 at the time. As I stand here before you today, my son is 26, and my daughter is 17. They inspired me. Side by side, we would do homework together. In that process, my children learned the value of an education. I have to say that with every single course that I had taken, whether it was in class or online, each professor was there for me to answer questions or offer help and guidance. I had even taken advantage of the numerous learning assistants that were always helpful for the different courses I had trouble with. I had help from Shanna Williams at the Hazlitt location. Without her help, I am not sure how, how I would have made it through my many English classes. Writing was always a challenge for me. When an assignment required writing a two-page paper, I would freak out. Four pages was an anxiety attack. <laughs> and now, in my class, I can elaborate with much more detail and have made it to 18 pages <laughs> with a little less of a struggle. That's a huge accomplishment for me. Taking a speech class with Joan Scacco was another class that prepared me for being able to stand up in front of people and speak clearly without getting too nervous. I want to thank the advisors who have helped me every step of the way, Joe Caruso and Suzanne Rousseau, just to name a few, who kept me on track with the classes that I need to take during each semester. By by staying focused, I continue to do well and I have been able to maintain a GPA of 4.0. <laughs> I was invited to join Phi Theta Kappa. I was so excited to be inducted into this awesome organization. It affords me many scholarship opportunities that I did not know were possible. I was able to achieve things at Brookdale that I never thought I could. Brookdale helped me to set my sights higher and higher. I have to admit, I was not a great student in high school, 
but I knew if I applied myself, I knew if I set achievable goals, then I knew anything was possible at Brookdale. Brookdale has made a positive impact on my life, and I can proudly say that I am a more balanced and well-rounded person now. The classes that I have taken, the professors who inspired me, and the many friends I have made here enriched my journey and have helped me to become a lifelong learner. I would like to leave you with some final thoughts, my fellow graduates. I know that many of, many of you share this Brookdale experience with me. So remember, just remember, when you leave here today, how someone may have reached out a hand to help you in your journey. You will have the opportunity to do the same for someone else. I would like to share a quote from Pope John the 23rd. Consult not your fears, but your hopes and your dreams. Think not about your frustrations, but about your unfulfilled potential. Concern yourself not with what you tried and failed in, but with what it is still possible for you to do. I congratulate you all on your achievement and wishing you all success in whatever endeavors you wish to pursue. Thank you. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank you, Teresa. You'll go far. The Outstanding Student Awards were created in 1980 to recognize outstanding student academic achievement, community service, and personal accomplishment. These students have been selected by their faculty from their respective institutes and are known to be distinguished students. Will Diana Pachulo please come up to the stage? Please join me in welcoming an outstanding student from the Humanities Institute. Diana Pachula is the first award recipient this year. She was acquainted with academic struggles through high school due to a learning disability, she, but she didn't let that stop her from succeeding. She challenged herself in high school and as a result was an honor roll student through graduation. She continued to challenge herself when she came to Brookdale and was accepted into the honors program. Diana is graduating with a 3.8 GPA today. Well done. She knew what she needed to do to succeed and took advantage of the many resources and student support services Brookdale offers to all students. She was a very active member of a number of clubs and organizations during her time with us, and she was excited to be inducted into Phi Theta Kappa and enjoyed the Outdoors Club. She was also the design editor for the collage for a time, and her work helped the collage to win a gold crown award. Elizabeth Trigani, one of her many fine tutoring assistants, described Diana as enthusiastic, dedicated, and driven. She is very focused, responsible, and always well prepared. All of us at Brookdale wish you continued success on your education at Montclair on the fall. Congratulations. We also have an outstanding student award for the Business and Social Science Institute, Kelsey Gigenbach. <laughs> Unfortunately, Kelsey is unable to be with us today, but I would like to highlight a few things about her. Kelsey, like many of our students, would like to go to a four-year school after high school, but she was an NJ Stars recipient, and she didn't think a community college, though, could offer her the rigor and challenge she wanted, but she was wrong. In her letter to the committee, she said, despite my initial misgivings, attending Brookdale was the best decision I could have made to start my higher education journey. It has given me the tools to succeed and help me to grow, not only as a student, but as an individual. 
Kelsey found the honors curriculum rigorous and the faculty consistently challenged her. Honors coordinator Jonathan Moshberger told the committee that Kelsey excelled at her studies. As a servant leader in the honors program, he was impressed with her positive attitude, depth of knowledge, and character in and out of the classroom. She was a peer tutor for honors students and extended tutoring assistant to students on academic probation. She worked with her fellow students. They continued the momentum and developed and brought a tutoring program to the Boys and Girls Club in Red Bank. She was inducted into Phi Theta Kappa with a 3.97 GPA, later becoming Vice President of Service after completing 20 hours of service learning at a local assisted living residence. She continues to volunteer at that home even after meeting the service learning requirements. She enjoys working with the director, planning and facilitating activities for the various residents. These experiences and opportunities will prepare her well for the career she is planning in occupational therapy. I'd also like to note that Kelsey Gigenbach was a 2017 New Century Scholar, which means that she represented the entire state of New Jersey this year at the Associ American Association of Community Colleges annual convention. She's the best community college student in New Jersey from the best community college in New Jersey. This year, Brookdale will confer an honorary associate degree in letters. Our award recipient this morning is Ms. Carol Stilwell, but unfortunately, she's unable to join us this morning. We will award her with this at a later date. My name is Carol Stilwell. She's the president of Stilwell Hansen, a New Jersey distributor of quality HVAC network and equipment protection, fire detection, and suppression systems. She's an astounding woman who has made a success in a traditionally male-dominated field. She's worked hard through her life and always dreamed of an education but work was something that she had to do. She's been an active member of our foundation scholarship ball planning committee and a good friend to, community, to Brookdale Community College for several years. And I know that we will, we miss her today and we will applaud her in the near future. Let's give her a round of applause. Each year at commencement, we also recognize successful Brookdale graduates. Will Brookdale alumna, Dr. Deborah Josco, please join me at the podium. Yeah, right here. Okay, Deborah earned an AAS degree in medical laboratory technology from Brookdale. Despite working full time, she went on to earn a BS in biology, MS molecular biology from Georgian Court University, and a PhD in biomedical informatics from the University of Medicine and Dentistry. She has served as Associate Professor, Director, Medical Laboratory Science Program at Rutgers University School of Health Professions for more than 20 years. She has served on and chaired numerous committees at the national and state levels, including serving as President of the American Society for Clinical Laboratory Science New Jersey chapter from 2004 through 6. She's a published author and is nationally known in the clinical laboratory and clinical microbiology fields. Among her many awards are Outstanding Adjunct Instructor Award at Brookdale Community College, <laughs> Court of Honor Distinguished Alumnus Award at Georgian Court University, Distinguished Author Award and Outstanding Educator of the Year Award from the American Society for Clinical Laboratory Science and inducted into the Master Educator Guild at Rutgers University. She is certified by the American Society for Clinical Pathology as a medical laboratory technician, microbiologist, and specialist in microbiology. Dr. Josco is a strong advocate for community college education and is proud to say the reason she has always had a job <laughs> since graduating from Brookdale in 1985 is because she earned a profession at Brookdale, not just a degree. Join me in congratulating Dr. Josco.
I am, let me just make sure, I am so excited to be back here today. Um, I would like to thank Brookdale and the Alumni Association for this honor. I am humbled by this recognition. I am proud to say, and to reiterate what Dr. Murphy just said, that I have worked full time since I left the doors in this school. And I've always had a job. And the only reason that I've always worked was because I earned an Associate of Applied Science degree in Medical Laboratory Technology from this school. This gave me the foundation that I needed to go on and advance my career. And my uh, uh, subsequent degrees only allowed me to uh, advance in my field. But I'm actually so proud to say that I graduated with a medical laboratory technology degree and I am now the director of the medical laboratory science program at Rutgers University, the same program I graduated in 35 years, 32 years ago. I am forever grateful for Brookdale for this opportunity, and I want to thank the amazing faculty that gave me the foundation and the skills I needed to go on and continue my education and have a successful career. But this day is not about me. It is about all of you. So first, I would like to congratulate my nephew, Nicholas Josco, who is graduating this morning. Uh, he has been on the uh, Dean's List several times, so congratulations, Nick. And secondly, I would like to congratulate all of you, the class of 2017, on this remarkable achievement. <laughs> Graduates, this is not the end. This is just the beginning. And this is my advice to you. Always have three sets of goals going at once your short-term goals, your long-term goals, and your lifetime goals. And when you achieve a goal, set another one, because you will always be striving for something, and you will always be working towards bettering yourself, and then your life will never become stagnant. Congratulations, give your hand, yourselves a, a round of applause, and again, thank you for this prestigious award. Will the faculty, staff, and candidates for graduation please rise? <laughs> Dr. Murphy, on behalf of the faculty and staff of Brookdale Community College, I present the class of 2017 and certify they've met all the requirements for their appropriate degrees and respectfully submit that such be conferred upon them. By the authority vested in me by the State of New Jersey and the Board of Trustees of Brookdale Community College, I confer upon you the degrees as recommended. Congratulations and please be seated. Will Professor Schaefer and Hassam please come to the lower stage? <clears throat> Will the graduates for the degree of Associate in Arts please rise? Dr. Murphy and Chair Guzzo, I present the graduates for the degree of Associate in Arts. Tiffany Acevedo.
Stephen Ellis. Yoland Agard. Jennifer Elman. Barbara Alexis. Raven Allison. Carlos Arrado. Jonathan Alvarez. Kelly Andreessen. Kyle Antman. Haiti Arenas. Ajamaris Elenia Estacio. Carla Melissa Avila. Michael Barra. Michael Barba. Kamar Barnes. Laura Bartley. Tyler Basile. Alexandra Beasley. Melissa A. Becker. Dylan James Befara. Nico Campagnola. Matthew Bello. Amanda Bennett. Rachel Bensby. Joshua Dennis Burweiler. Mary Inez Bonilla. Mary Boyle. Corey Brandt. Marina Brito. Lisa Britton. Kiana Brown. Lindsay Page Broxmeyer. Alexis Marie Bruna. Ashley Rett Bruno. Rico Bernie. Franco Cabrera. Danielle Kane.
Karina Calderon. Cassandra Callahan. Amber Kalik. Alphonse James Calvanico. Haley Caparino. Thomas Donald Cardulia. Yeni Cardenas. Daniel Cardone. Angelique Caruso. Samantha Casbrero. Michael Cavallino. Bayina Sharif Chandler. Frank Alphonse Champi. Nick Sorella. Patrick Clark. Brianna Clayton. Victoria Clayton. Amanda Clates Cartagena. Yeah. Laura Cognette. Yeah. Nathan Joseph Cohen. Yeah. Frank Colabella. Nicholas Cola Pinto. Michael Compton. Angela Confusion. Courtney Irene Connolly. Lauren Coppinger. Joseph Corallo. Ronald Kroos. Gabriela Cruz. David Debro, Samuel Dodano, Shana Daquist, Kathleen Dedon. Victoria D'Ambrosio. Dana DeShuda. Patricia Davis. Krista DeAngelis. Catherine Mary D. Fabritas. Yeah. 
Victoria Mara de Fabritas. Christina DeGilio. Chloe Ann Delaney. Christina Delano. Ryan Damien. Carolyn Dennis. Matthew Destopoli. Okay, come on. John Devalue. Daniel Diazio. Guadalupe Diaz. Angelica De Pippa. Mindy Doherty. Edward Dolphin. Rebecca Damal. Alex Donnelly. Caitlin Dooney. Kirsty Dorian. Angela X. Anthony Esposito. Mergine Edquaban. Aaron Edwards. Chelsea Victoria Elman. Courtney Nicole Elman. Christina Egler. Mark Eustace. Daniel Ivancho. Danielle Evangelista. Bethany Evans. Crystal Falzone. Teresa Fanto. Graziella Fernandez. <laughs> Michelle Fiata. <laughs> Alexandra Figuero. Jessica Fisher. <laughs> Hannah Catherine Fights. <laughs> Lakia Flakes. 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 <laughs> 
Christine Flay. Anthony Paul Fosetta. Brianna Fox. Anarita Frazau. Barbara Gallman. Nicholas Garback. Becky Garretson. Raven Gates. Nikki Jeffrey. Anthony Joseph Jerji Jr. <laughs> Ty Godfrey. Sean Goldsman. <laughs> Tyler Goldstein. Joseph Gorski III. <laughs> Catherine Elizabeth Graham. <laughs> Gianna Dawn Granite. <laughs> Stacy Rebecca Gross. Ryan Guerrero. Christian Hernandez. Jenna Christine Horner. Stephen Hornstein. Jonathan Iglesias. Amanda Imperato. Marjena Yanis Geski. Alfonso Jarquin. <laughs> Curtis F. Jenkins, Jr. <laughs> Tyra Jenkins. <laughs> Samantha Jenkinson. Viram Shakmar Jacobatsasam. <laughs> Frederick Johnson Sr. Kimberly Johnson. <laughs> Melissa Johnson. Rosalind Lucila Johnson. Tasia Johnson. Mario Justiniano.
Sequina J. Jones. Amber J. Jones. Gaetano Jones. Nicholas Josco. Brandon Kayback. Shayna Kayback. Jay Kajala. Samuel Keen. Saray Kennedy. Ola Kamchuk. Joshua Kimberlin. Jenna Knapp. Frank Nicholas, John Chorus. Dylan Korloff. Nicole Kowalski. Ross Kreitschman. Olivia Krupinski. Sage Curtin. Salvatore Lagrateria III. John Langan. John Lane. Nickel Lane. Carl Fred Lawson, the fourth. Caitlin Lemberg. <laughs> Megan Levy. <laughs> Amanda Lindley. <laughs> Michelle Liu. Michelle Lomangino. Huh? Yeah. Alessandro Lombardo. I see her. Natasek Luna Morales. Robert Lynch. Bridget Lacet. Samantha Labarski. Christine Teresa Maver. Anna McInnes. Christina Elizabeth Mahachek.
Brenda T. Mayacha. <laughs> Kathleen Makar. <laughs> Michael Mangano. <laughs> Rebecca Marconi. Nicole Margoloff. Marissa Mary. Alana Messino. Kyle Mayer. Christopher Mazarisi. Rebecca McHugh. Taryn McGee. Randy McHugh, Jr. Brianna McKenna. Emily McKenna. <laughs> Josette McKenzie. <laughs> Katie McNamee. <laughs> Elizabeth McPherson. Mark Mendez. Ingrid Mendoza Pagota. Ricardo Mendoza. Francis Mocaro. Aisha Mohammed. George Montalvo. Taylor Montella. Christy Montero. Karen Moore. Brian Michael. Philip Marachi. Denise Moran. Carla Marino. Maureen E. Muldoon. Joseph Marisi. Aya Nelson. Aya Nelson. <laughs> Clarence J. Newbold. Naomi E. Newman. Kina Ng. <laughs> Alexander Nichols. <laughs> Brenna Nielsen. Jessica Noe. Yes. 
Amanda Nowicki. Michaela O'Brien. Sean O'Brien. Ashley Victoria Oliveira. Natalie Rose Osterman. Christopher Ottaviano. Brandy Otway. Vernalyn Paquette. Nandor Palmai, the fourth. Christine Panarello. Philomena Panabianca. <laughs> Diana Pasillo. Trisha Pellick. <laughs> Kathleen Pusina. <laughs> Caitlin Elizabeth Peterson. <laughs> Christina Petrozelli. Megan Piggott. <laughs> Brianne Pinkham. <laughs> Susan Pinon. Christina Pidio. Courtney Pittman. Holly Podachar. Kimberly Powers. Antonio Percino. Karen Probilski. George Patikowitz. Kathy Ann Quillez. Orly Kispe. <laughs> Melanie, Rin, Melanie Lynn Rabinowitz. <laughs> Jessica Recupera. <laughs> Don Redondo. Carolyn Constance Emma Reeves. Georgia Rocha Silva. Alini Rodriguez Amuncio. Jessica Rodriguez. Linda Rodriguez. Yeah. 
Sarah Romano. Bree Rosenblum. Deanna Ruiz Arana. Christopher Russo. Lorena Rivanova. Jessica Ryback. Michael Rislick. Maria Sanchez. John Sanglang. Christopher Sawyer. Nicole Scarpati. Michelle Schiappo. Cheryl Schlegenhaft. Jasmine Segoviano. Pisang Shrek. Janine Scazzari. Tori Ann Sherman. Leanna Schiffman. Allison Siegel. Karen Sierra. Fabiana Silva. Caitlin Simone. Denise Marie Sims. Chanel Singletary Eschner. Brooke Slobin. Alexis Smith. Christopher Smith. Jamie Smith. Joshua Smith. Emily Suchek. Calvin Spinelli. Aaron Spooner. Randall Stokes the second. Jordan Tariq Story. Harley Suter. I'm going to do the one after this one. I forgot. Okay. I'm still right there. Leslie Tameo. Barbara Taylor. Well, I'm going to do her too. Sienna Maria Elizabeth Carson Taylor. Yeah. 
Christopher Tejada. Sarah Lynn Tepitsky. Chantelle Farrington. Antonia Thigpen. Jovan Tyree. Kristen Van Meerbeck. Sally Vargas Betancar. Michael Vecchio. Brandon Velasco. <laughs> Matthew Velez. Shane Edward Hunter, Villa Torres. John Venta. Priscilla Vera. Demi Bernikov. Elena Rose Vallali. Vincent Villapondo. Marvlyn Vincent. Michael Walters. Jessica Althea Walter. Shakira Washington. Timothy J. Watson. Melody Weber. Chow Yin Wang. Laura Wessels. Brendan West. Brandon Weinberg. Marissa Shannon Williams. Thomas Wilson. Beth Wisniewski. Christina Whitver. Brianna Fortino. Taylor Drewer. Farhad Ashunkalov. Marla Gonzalez. Jenna Pino. Alisa Zembelli. Justine Zabrowski.
Vasil Anushkinez. Maria Maldonado. Edward Trice. Jake Yeh. Christian Kayez. Chris Bandes. Thomas San Filippo. Ariel Silver. Carlos Gomez. Khadija Wilson. Jesenia Juarez. Ella Grease Ahern. Emmanuel Osei. Congratulations to all of the graduates. Just, I, I do have a piece of a piece of fashion advice <coughs> for the graduates. Now that you're officially college graduates, the tassel moves to the left. Congratulations. Congratulations, class of 2017. Believe it or not, this is concluding our commencement exercises, but there's one last task for the audience to make this graduation a success. Please remain in your seats until the graduate have marched out the arena through the lower doors, and then we'd like you to exit through the upper doors, and we can all meet on the Student Life Center patio for a brief reception. So again, please remain seated until all the graduates have left the arena. And one more time, let's give it up for the class of 2017.